All right. I'm live on page on YouTube. I'll be live on I'm live on YouTube. I'll be live on Facebook soon. Wait. Welcome everyone to this uh, second edition of this series called The Best of Philippine Chess. In the first installment, we looked at uh, the game of uh, our first Grandmaster, Grandmaster Eugene Torre versus, uh, uh, who was that? Mikhail Tal. In this edition, we will have, we will examine the game between Bent Larsen, one of the strongest Western players in the during the Cold War from Denmark versus our very own Grandmaster, se our second Grandmaster, Rosendo Balinas. This was played in 1975 in Manila. Larsen was one of the... Larsen, in fact, was chosen as the board one player for the rest of the world in the USSR versus the rest of the world match in 1970. Bobby Fischer was only board two. So Larsen was on board one and, in fact, had a plus score at board one, although he famously defeat uh, he famously lost to uh, Boris Paskin in I think nineteen moves in this Larsen opening. But uh, he was a candidate also, so he was a candidate semi finalist, but lost to Boris Paskin in the nineteen sixty nine candidates matches nineteen sixty eight candidates matches. So this game was played in Manila in nineteen seventy five. Larsen played B3, known as the Larsen opening, because he was the grandmaster who uh, popularized this B3 opening. In the Philippines now, it would be called the Hota opening because uh, the most famous advocate of this opening in our local chess scene is uh, Jonathan Hota, who managed to defeat Darwin Lilo in this opening, Grandmaster Darwin Lilo, and I think uh, another grandmaster with the same b3 opening but anyway uh but Linus responded e5 bishop b2 knight c6 so e3 planning d4 so that the bishop can his bishop on b2 can have an increased scope so all of uh Larsen's moves so far has been directed against this e5 square and with this move Belinus just says oh you're gonna bite on granite that's going to be a very very solid square you can't take that away so d4 e4 closing the position now this position now resembles a sort of a reverse French with this formation reverse trench especially when Balinas played a6 and Larsen captured bishop c6 now it becomes really really like a French win over variation where black catch uh, with, with this pawn structure it's really akin to a French defense win over so in the win over you will hit this base with a knight here Right here. So the position is still equal. That green line in the middle, the right side, shows you what the computer thinks of the position. Right now, it thinks that the position is just a little bit tiny bit ahead. Uh, white is ahead, just a little bit ahead. So they're continuing to develop their pieces. Black has finally castled. Only the problems bishop, the problem piece of uh, white, uh, of black in this position remains uh, undeveloped. Knight a5. So you can notice that the the evaluation of the computer suddenly changed with the knight a4 knight a4 move because 
of Black's next move, which the computer thinks White absolutely needed to prevent with the move h4. So because of knight a4, it allowed Balinas to play g5, which is highly rated by the computer also. It's a very accurate move in the position. And oh, the computer didn't like that because it wanted to follow up with f4. Because uh, maybe the king is still stuck in the center. And but anyway, Balinas played knight g4, h3, knight h6, and the computer also frowned upon that move because it's a useless move. The bishop will just develop on d6, much better square than e7, and rook's threat of uh, capturing this. Row knight, this knight is uh, thwarted. So black, uh, the computer thinks this is also a blunder. Changing the valuation from zero to uh, minus one point thirty two in favor of black. And recommended what the move that was played by Balinas, which is f four. So, maatake na po ang ating Grandmaster against Bent Larsen. So, hindi na pinansin. Sabi niya, which, this, this move, actually, uh, this F takes E3 move is the first choice of the computer in this given position also. So, boldly, Balina sacrificed a piece against one of the best players in the history of the game. Check allows allows uh, a pawn on uh, e7 what happens if uh, the king will capture if the king will capture check king g1 bishop e6 wala lang but operate on the kingside position Balinas did not play that. Instead, he played uh, Queen F6, mm, which was frowned upon by the computer. Not because of that. Uh, yes, because of that move. And that was not the move that uh, the computer wanted in this given position. He wanted to play e E3. Queen d5, King g7, Knight c3, allowing the knight to be useful. But still, black is already uh, much, much better. In the computer, this gave white advantage because of Queen d5, King. And black, uh, the computer wanted white to capture on RC7 because that can be captured because it just captured rook d7, queen c6. But that's not what happened. So, according to the computer, it would have been he could have repeated moves, but uh, Larsen actually under underestimated the fact that. Queen had a uh, access to b1 square. So Larsen blundered with g4 and allowed Balinas to play knight g3 and check there. So it turns out the white queen is helpless in the back rank, the eighth rank. And here, Balinas blundered, overlooked the mate in one, <laughs> and played queen f1 instead. But it wouldn't doesn't matter because uh, it's already mate next move. So that's it. So 
that's how our very own Balinas, a panyero, a lawyer, worked as a clerk of court in, I think, as a clerk of court in one of the uh, courts in the province, uh, dismantled Bent Larsen, who uh, at one point was touted as the best hope for the West to uh, regain the championship, the World Chess Championship, away from the Soviets. So that's it. But before I go, I'd like to plug in our uh, next event. First, on May 26th, po, the fifth leg of the Philippine Executive Chess Association. Doubled prices po tayo. Champion will get 20,000. Second place, uh, 14,000, etc. etc. Guaranteed na po yung price. May, may, may sponsors na po tayo nakuha. It will be uh, at Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. So, may ticket na po ako. I'll be going there. I'll see you there, my chess friends from Mindanao, Visayas, and even my friends from Luzon. Kita-kita po tayo. And the following day, may open tournament po. At my kiddies tournament din pala sa Saturday. And in the kiddies, uh, before the kiddies tournament, our very own Grandmaster Joey Antonio will also be there to uh, play a simultaneous game, 20 boards against the promising kids of South Cotabato. Also, on May 19, our chess broadcast will continue. Our ongoing uh, Team Blitz Battle Royale will continue. And this time, it will feature the Philippine National Police Chess Team versus the Philippine Army Chess Team. Hindi uh, na pala Battle Royale ito, where we will... Uh, 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 we will uh, use a new system called the Schwedingen system where all the players on one side will play all the players of the other side. So, magro-rotate po sila. Gayang-gaya ng chess.com na Pro Chess League. They will rotate and uh, the team with the most number of points after the rotation will win. Dalawang rotations po tayo kasi tatlo lang naman sila at uh, 5 minutes blitz lang naman ito. Para naman sulit. So, double 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 round robin ito. So, but each player will meet the, all the players of the other team four times. So, I hope you'll watch that. Uh, bannering the Philippine Army squad, the very strong uh, Grandmaster-elect Ronald Dableo will play for the first time here in our uh, YouTube channel. Followed by uh, Joel Pimentel, International Master Joel Pimentel, Kevin Arquero, and... Uh, Rapanot. For the PNP naman, ang kanilang players will be National Masters Ali Branzuela and National Master Rolando Andador. Supported by uh, Mr. Tiempo and Mr. Jerry Tolentino, both police officers. So, let's see po how our men in uniform play chess so they're not strangers to each other because my uh yung philippine army coast guard pnp air force may may palaro din sila eh. so they know each other very well in fact and uh, the pnp is uh hoping to uh, uh beat the more uh, seasoned and uh titled uh players from the Philippine Army with two international masters. So I hope you'll watch that. And I hope you enjoyed this Larsen versus Balinas game where uh, our Rosendo Balinas dismantled uh, Bent Larsen. Bye. See you again tomorrow.